chili. Okay? Uh, it is cold. Liquid nitrogen, oh my nitrogen, of course, is a gas at room temperature uh. pressure. In fact, there's tons of it in the air right now in front of your faces. Uh, if you lower the temperature enough, it will condense and liquefy. But you need to lower that temperature down to approximately negative 193 degrees Celsius, which is around negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so, when we say it's kind of cold outside, like 10 degrees Fahrenheit, that's pretty cold, that's below freezing, uh, this is negative 320. Um, so this is beyond ridiculously cold, in fact, none of us have ever experienced a temperature that cold, ever. If you thought you have, you haven't. If you think it was cold, it wasn't. This is cold. Okay. Um, so now, All right. liquid nitrogen, of course, is in this room, and this room, compared to that temperature, is actually ridiculously hot. Okay? Um, so, I don't know, was it like, it's like 72? Yeah. Nice 72 degrees Fahrenheit, that is like 400 degrees warmer than liquid nitrogen, okay? Uh, so this stuff is actually boiling very, very rapidly, all right? Uh, it's actually turning into a gas, some of you might have seen it as it comes out of here. Uh, you'll notice that this lid right here doesn't seem very high tech. Um, neither is this lid, okay? Um, why do you think it would be a bad idea to seal this with a nice, neat, tight lid? Boom. Yeah, It'll explode, right? It's boiling. It's creating tons of gas. Literally, this container would burst if it was sealed. So fortunately for all of us, it is not. Um, but it is also crazy thick um, to try to insulate it, of course, keep it as a liquid as long as possible. So we're going to pour some of this stuff out. Uh, you got the back? Yeah, I got the back. Do you need help? No, we got it. Thank we you. Got it. Cool. Bro. Oh, that's scary. Wait, that's cool. I don't know what you're going to say. So now you guys see it all kind of the you know, cloud kind of billowing out of here. Um, what do you guys think? What do you think uh, about the density of liquid nitrogen versus air? What, where's, the, where's the smoke going? Um, it's going down. down. <laughs> Up or down? I think it's going down. Um, kind of blowing it out, we see the actual cloud sinking to the ground. So what does that mean? Is um, nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, uh, less dense or more dense than air? More dense. More dense. Maybe more dense, right? Less dense things tend to float. More dense things tend to sink. Um, there's actually a number of things going on with the liquid nitrogen right there. Um, because it's so cold and it's hitting the, the air in the room, it's actually condensing a lot of the water. So what you guys are actually seeing, this cloud, a lot of that is actually just moisture. Okay? Um, the actual moisture that's in the air right now condensing into a liquid and it's sinking down to the ground uh, because this stuff is so ridiculously chilly. Um, all right, what else should we do next, Ms. Conlon? Ooh, let's What's the next time? Uh, on your list. Uh, oh, it's soap. Soap ones. Ah, okay, good. Uh, what do you think will happen to soap bubbles when liquid nitrogen is poured over them? Alright, we got soap in here. Oh, yeah, we got soapy water. Alright. Why is it yellow? Because there's soap in there. Yellow okay, soap. yellow soap, alright. Yellow soap. Okay. Maybe we're going to say like blue soap because we don't have yellow. Alright, we're going to pour some over here. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, so. I think I poured too much. <laughs> okay. That's okay. If less is good, more is better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Logic. Uh, so here we can. Um, <laughs> oh, that. I got two left gloves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, real smart.
don't. But you know that <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> that would that would not be good. Yeah, dude. That's icy. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> It's not right. <laughs> Start with this guy. Incinerate. <laughs> now, uh, as the balloon goes into the liquid nitrogen, um, the temperature of the gas inside is what? Cold. cold. Right, it's getting cold. Okay, fine. So what's happened to the temperature? It's dropping. Dropping. It's dropping. Okay, good. It's lowering. So the temperature is lowering. The temperature is lowering. What do you guys think is happening to the pressure? The molecules are doing what? They're, they're getting Getting slower. Molecules are slowing down. They're getting closer together. So, what do you think is going to happen to our size of our balloon? Correct. She's, she's moving back. The balloon, the balloon actually collapses. Oh, that's creepy. Right now, as I'm taking out, what's happening to the temperature? It's going on. It's getting warm again. The molecules are moving. Moving faster. They're expanding. And the size of our balloon is expanding. Okay. Uh, so the molecules just went from a really fast change. We slowed them way down in liquid nitrogen. As the molecules slow way, way down, they get close together, and the volume of our balloon shrinks. But then as we warm them back up to this now 400 degrees warmer room, they speed way back up, 
and they expand, they get further apart, and they cause the volume of our balloon to increase. And you keep doing this over and over and over again. In fact, we can put that balloon in there. Let's see. Yeah, this one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, it's well done. So we had that little balloon, and then we got that orange one. Okay, so now we're going to put this guy in. Shrink. Take it out. Uh, well, real quick though, with the uh, with the hand with all the water in there, uh, when Miss Codlin dropped it in, it's gonna freeze. What happened to the amount of sort of like <laughs> obviously smoke we're creating? A lot. It, increased, it increased big time, right? Think of it. Think about it. The temperature of the water, tap water, compared to liquid nitrogen, is really what? Hot. It's ridiculously hot. Okay. To you or I, it's not, but to liquid nitrogen, it is. So we just added something really hot to something really cold. We're actually increasing the amount that it's boiling. So now it's boiling like crazy. So we just added something very, very warm. Take a quick look. Sure. Take a quick look. Take this. Oh, my. Cold. Green gold? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. this froze up. No, I think it's safe to put your hand in there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you want to save? Sure. I do it. Jacob, try it. So this would be your hand. Uh, so if you were gonna like, you know, get, uh, try to shake shake somebody's hand, it's like, oh, jeez, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, I've only got one finger left. <laughs> 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 there you go. Starts clearing too. Right. 
Question about the building exploding. <laughs> so that was actually pretty frozen all the way through, and that was only in there for maybe a minute, minute and a half. Take, uh, so it doesn't take long, right? Uh, if this stuff did get in contact with your skin within seconds, it's the frostbite. It kills the nerve endings just like that. What do we got? We got a bouncy ball. Oh, no, it's not the bouncy ball. 